Oh my god, after like technically one week since my absence apparently, I'm back to recording Eliza. Uh, yeah, greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos. I'm back recording. Well, I mean, yes, uh, my cough's been reduced relatively significant, so I end up may as well record and comment about uh, Eliza again. Uh, basically, yeah, we've been assigned pretty well at our first day at Eliza uh, Incorporated, and so far it's been doing well. Uh, we're currently going to meet Nora, in which we chatted previously that she's going to send a flyer and just basically meet each other. I'm not entirely sure how well we know this Nora, but um, I also figured out that we can just... Oh, it's already in the afternoon, apparently. So overall, for today, she got two clients in total, and probably still some more. Not entirely sure. Good article by Ray, Ray Buckery. Uh... I don't think we get any new mails uh, in between time, so... Okay. Oh yeah, this is the Nora that we spoke before. Oh yeah. But it tells something about non-work related, so... We really should get into this, and yeah. So... Evelyn agrees to meet up with Nora at the cabin nearby. I almost didn't recognize her when she came in and sat down at my table. Evelyn! It's been so long since the last time I saw you in person! Hey, Nora! She used to stick to a very subdued and professional look. Guess she really wanted to put those days behind her. Oh! Getting off out of the 9 to 5 office hour, eh? It's definitely been a while. Three years? Three years? Jesus. Yeah, almost three years! Why do I feel this is the same voice actor as Ray? I don't know. I might be wrong. We'll see. Feels like no time at all. Well, I'm glad you're back doing something. Interesting Southern accent, if I got it right. But you didn't tell me what the new job is. <laughs> oh, well, it's, uh... Being a proxy counselor for Eliza. <laughs> oh man, that's more chuckle. Proxy counselor for Eliza. Uh, you're kidding me. That's an interesting choice. Interesting choice, you say? Well, so far I'm enjoying myself. I think. I'm not quite sure why I did it. Maybe I thought I'd be able to see things in a new light. Wait, so do the people at the counseling office know? Hmm. No, no, not yet. Wait, what? The people at the counseling office? Which counseling office? Eliza? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm following this conversation for now, but I'm gonna go through it. I should tell them, probably. I don't know. Hmm. Oh dear. It's fun to have it be a secret. It's unkind to give it a secret. Hmm. Oh man. Well, well, well. I think it's unkind to give it a secret. I mean, come on. Hmm. I don't know about Evelyn's current job aside of working at uh, Eliza as a proxy counselor. So, oh boy, this is gonna take me to the wrong background of things, but we will see actually. It's on the it's unkind to keep it a secret. I'm sure it'll get out eventually, one way or another. Hi. 
Yeah, it probably will. Evelyn, how are you these days? I mean, really, how are you? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> better not by a lot, but still better. I prefer this one, actually. I'm better. Not by a lot, but still better. I knew you were working at that bookstore for a while, but... A bookstore? Oh, hello. Wait. Is that the mail that Evelyn sent to herself? That's interesting. I really wonder what's up. Could be some secrets or something, except <laughs> maybe not. Other than that, it's like you dropped off the edge of the planet. So it appears that she disappeared for a while, actually. And then she appeared, and Nora sent her messages. And then they m meet now. Well, I wasn't up to much. I checked your social media once in a while, but nothing. Oh, music came in. Oh, believe me, you're not gonna see my stuff much at my social media. Not that I blame you. I hate all those apps. I don't hate them, I just am a good observer. At least me, I don't know about Evelyn. Yeah, I, I deleted them. Oh, I see. She's not even lo looking into social media apps, and she knows the toxic part of it, apparently, that she decided to uninstall it. That's honestly a really wise choice. I struggle to find the words to talk about what happened, but they don't come. I don't know what happened. It's like... There is something dark in my mind, blocking me when I try to go there. Oh dear. A void. Oh no. I guess I'm still not ready to talk about it yet. For the better, for now, Evelyn. It's okay. Take the time you need. Okay, maybe that's not necessarily such an accent. It's more like a really foreign accent. Foreign American accent or something. Oh god. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I knew you were in a difficult place after what happened, and I, I wanted to say something. But I worried that maybe you don't want to hear from anyone from your past. Hmm. Maybe you wanted to be left alone and not reminded of the old job. Oh boy. Mm. I'm just gonna be in Israel and say of this actually. It's nice to know you were thinking of me. I mean genuine, that's a genuine response from my side at least. Well I'm glad. I was kind of going through a lot myself, last couple years. That's right, what about you? How is your life these days? Oh, nice redirection. Thank goodness. <laughs> What's it like being a, a rock star? Hmm, that smooth, soft voice at the end there. Hmm. Questioning. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work, actually. I have to prepare for the show next week. I have two collaborations ongoing, and I'm applying for funding for another. A big one. Ooh. That's nice. I'm also advising on an art activism group that makes art installations to challenge people to think about the ways technology is affecting their lives. Heavy stuff. But that's nice. Oh, oh yeah. And I'm working on this, um... 
kind of like it's a granular synthesis engine, but with a new twist to it. Ooh, that's dope. It should be interesting. That's a lot of words, though, not gonna lie, so... Holy crap. Two collaborations, not just a rock star, but she's apparently also interested in... The connection between art and technology. That's a really, really nice one. Granular synthesis. Granular synthesis, yeah. I will question the same. Sorry, I don't know what that is. It's a way to make sounds out of, well, out of smaller sounds called grains. Oh, those kinds! I do love those! I mean, I remember seeing those stuff uh, on YouTube. Oh my god, I should link it somewhere in this video, eventually. Really nice stuff. Maybe it's better to show you than to explain in words. Unless the game wants to show it, of course. So are you busy but happy? Hmm. And you're able to support yourself doing this? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm living the artist life now. <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, I make less money than I used to, but I don't care. Oh. Oh yeah. Actual artist life, eh? Old me might have worried about that. Not anymore, though. Interesting. Sometimes I do take a little contract coding work, but I'm making most of my rent with booking fees and selling music and so on. A little contract coding work, huh? I see. Kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of scary. But good. I like these lines, I'm not gonna lie. They're actually re delivering it really well, actually, in this one. Which is... Starting to steal my heart there for a bit. You really went your own way... Ooh... If it makes you happy, it seems worth it. If it makes you happy, it seems worth it. Maybe I should consider moving in a direction like that. Ooh... You should! <laughs> Listen, I hope you can get away from the industry too, at some point. Listen. Oh, boy. Well, well, well. Now that starts to lure me in. Getting away from the industry, huh? Ah, that reminds me what I was going to tell you about. The concert, yes, please. A lighter... Topic will be nice. Our old boss is back on his bullshit. Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> no. Rainer? Soren? Soren. Soren Lloyd Rose. Celebrated psychologist, entrepreneur, and creepo. Oh, no. Soren Lloyd Rose, huh? I should not really make this awkward. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this is going to imply that Evelyn actually knows this dude, or uh, actually, girl, from the names of it. Oh God. Oh, actually, it's he. Hmm. Mm. This is stunting, actually. I don't know though. Creepo. Wait, he wasn't ever weird around you? Oh, I should have really chosen the other one. Did I ever tell you about the time that he hit on me with a story about past lives and the threat of destiny? <laughs> past lives? Oh, ho, ho. Trend, transcendent stuff. Now that's something. Wait. What? Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> okay, it was early on when the team was still pretty small. Seven or ten people maximum. Okay. 
He'd gone out with some executives to dinner. And who knows what else? He came back to the office super late. I think it was like at least 11, maybe later. Oh boy. And the whiskey smell was just oof, surrounding him. Like oh. he, he jumped into a whiskey bathtub with his clothes on. Oh my god, Nora's accent. I'm falling in love. Maybe he'd like to do that, I don't know. Anyway, I was still there for some reason. I was in the crunch mindset. Ah, that type. He came over to my desk and started to mumble about... I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> Just this nonsensical rambling. He started by saying how much he hated businessmen, how ridiculous they are, that they don't know anything. He said that a few times. Oh no! I'm sensing this dude is a spiritualist that mumbles and have such a really high ego about how he's better than everyone. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Then, then he said he could see my soul. That I was like a reincarnated spirit of... I don't remember. He said some name. Oh no, not this dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, that's an actual transcendental abuse there. Like a person's name? Like a mythological name. I didn't hear it very well, but it was like a like a Buddhist spirit or, or deity or something like that. I think rarely this kind of people exist actually in real life and maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong, because I actually haven't really encountered this kind of person intensely. I actually know a couple of those who actually can see spirits or ghosts and stuff. But I don't know about those kind that actually guesses them right. <laughs> so then he goes on to say how he and I, all of us on the team, were all these reincarnated spirits sent to relieve human suffering at the end of the world. <laughs> oh, that's actually really hilarious. <laughs> and and we're connected by a thread of destiny that draws us to each other again and again over multiple lifetimes. Okay, wait a second. Oh no. Oh god. Wait. No. Oh. Oh. Dude, I cannot explain how this actually kind of makes sense. I but I really really cannot say it out loud. On what it's meant to be. I just really can't. It's a real long story. Just high language at best. Ah, uh, yeah. He talked about it like it was just like a red string you could see. Or he could see. I don't know about most of us. So I'm thinking, is this like some kind of pickup technique? Could be. You know how people will talk to you and say, Oh, you are the reincarnation of an ancient goddess or something. Ugh, just because they are horny. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, not knowing this dude yet, but it could be the case. I'm sure he's tried that exact line. <laughs> I'm sure he's tried that exact line. It really sounds like something he'd do. He went on some more like that for a while and I didn't know what to do. I wanted to leave, but he was blocking me where he was standing. Hmm. Go punch him in the face, I guess. So I couldn't simply go, I had to keep listening to him. Finally, he mentioned that he would be open to the possibility of sleeping with me. And then he passed out on the couch immediately. What? Maid. What a move. You're kidding. Yeah, holy moly. Such a jerk. No, not at all. Of course, we never talked about it after that. Certainly, I would not bring it up. Good choice. I wonder if he even remembers. 
likely got drunk to, to do whiskey stuff. Nothing like that happened again. But I think it was because I took care to not be around if it seemed like he was going to be drunk at the office. <laughs> I wonder if he's still that way. I'm sure he is. Wow. Wow. And now he's back. Isn't it exciting? It's... Oh, man. I do not know. He messaged me the other day wanting to talk to me about some new startup he's putting together. Hmm. He left Skanda? What? Soren used to be at Skanda? Mm, he's planning to. It's a secret for now. But Soren's actually now at the same workplace as Evelyn. Here? Interesting. He asked me to join, and I said, no, there is absolutely no way. <laughs> Maybe a long time ago, I'd be interested in a chance to start a new company with someone famous like Soren at the top. You know, a time when I'd put up with his shittiness because I believed in what we were doing. Change the world, you know, the speech. <laughs> yeah. Or, if we didn't change the world, at least we might get rich trying. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think that way anymore. Yeah, she's already comfortable with her life. She's content with it, uh, from what we can tell, I think. I'm tired of the tech business. I'm tired of what guys like him represent. This industry can have fun eating itself and everything around it, causing as many problems as it solves. I don't want to be a part of it. Wise. It took me a while to see it. But I feel some responsibility for the world we live in now. You've really changed, Nora. Yeah. She used to be at that position. Now look at her. It doesn't feel like I've changed. It just feels like I know more about myself than I used to. I want to be creative. Be myself to the maximum. I want to do that, I swear. God damn it. Now I know you weren't lying about leaving social media because I posted about this. A lot. Oh. Oh. That's dope. Yeah, I guess I missed it. <laughs> ah, a lot can happen in three years. True. A lot can change. Now I just hope maybe I could talk to other people who are in the same situation I was in. I want young people, especially women, to know that yes, it is possible to get rich by working with guys like Soren. But there is a big cost too. Hmm. And there's always a cost. Maybe a cost you didn't think about before. Or maybe it's a cost you thought you would be okay with paying, but then when the debt comes due, you realize, oof, it's bigger than you thought. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Nora pauses for a moment. I wonder what that cost was for her. Oh, that's a good question. Now that's my conclusion. But you, on the other hand... Oh, now the music jumps in again. You should go and, and say hello to him. Hmm. To Soren. Yeah, he's giving this big keynote talk next week, you know? Oh. It's the reveal of his new startup. Many people will be watching. Ooh. Why should I go to that? Or maybe... Hmm... Oof, I don't know actually. Maybe I should find out what he's up to now. It will be interesting, don't you think? I don't know. I actually really don't know. You're already working as a proxy for Eliza. That must be giving you some new perspectives. Now you'll get to see what Soren believes the next step is. Hmm. The 
Don't tell me you're not the least bit curious. <laughs> I kinda am. I don't know. Maybe I am. Yeah. Same, Evelyn. It's free to attend? <laughs> of course not. It's at one of those conferences you pay thousands of dollars to get into. Oh, you gotta be serious! Ah, oh, Christ! But lucky for you, I have an all-access pass. Ooh, 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 wow, hello there, lady. Here, take it. What? Really? Are you sure? <sighs> yeah, you had one sent to me. As if there's any way I would go to a snake person convention like that. <laughs> snake person. Snake person. Ah, you know, people who are like snakes, venture capitalists, biz dev. <laughs> if you're so against it, why do you think I should go? Okay, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. Maybe Nora is something with Soren. I don't know. Have yet to know what's up. We're just literally starting in the middle of things, so that's kind of the beauty of the official uh official novels yeah because i already made my decision you need to go make yours hmm you're coming out from the cave you were in for the last three years and you need to decide what you're going to do next right the cave i was in for the last three years maybe she really disappeared for that three years huh jesus christ Nora leans over the table toward me, a serious look in her eyes. Evelyn, you're one of the smartest people I've met in my whole life. I'm serious. I've seen the way you approach things like this. You're going to research and learn as much as you can. And only then, when you feel like you know enough, you'll make your decision. Hmm. Isn't that right? You have more to contribute to the world. But you want to know you're contributing the right things, in the right way. I've always admired that about you. Also, I don't know about this girl, but... <laughs> she just feels like... Uh, facing towards this too, but nah, nah, nah. Maybe she's just waiting for her drink and something like that. I kind of wish that detail could have been more actually, at the background. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I have a rehearsal for a show to get to. Hmm. It was really good to see you, though. Really, really good. That's nice. Same to you, Nora. I promise not to be a stranger anymore, okay? Not to be a stranger? Nora takes us off to her rehearsal. Huh, that's fast and fancy. She's a busy person now. Busy, but happy, it seems like. Is that a secret? Keep yourself busy? Oh, oh, ho ho, that's interesting. Hello! Something to interact with. It's nice to know this is an option. The tea and coffee at the counseling center didn't look so inspiring. Am I... Am I being a snob? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hello. Komarebi. I wonder what that means. I think someone at Japanese will try to figure this one out. I should try to study Japanese again. One more thing that fell away. Komarebi, huh? The barista here seems like a nice enough guy. He wrote Nora's name Lola though. He must have misheard it. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Let's check the mail. <laughs> Meredith Mercer! Kapufuda Solitary is hot. There's a reason they're called patience games. The trick is to not get ahead of yourself. Sometimes what seems like easy for progress is actually something that's going to get you irrevocably stuck. 
you know, like life. Think carefully before each move and you'll start winning games. I remember you had a good head for this kind of thing back at school, so I dare say you might just need to get into that mindset again. You can do it. Mercer. Meredith Mercer. Demetrius and game designer extraordinaire Saitama Japan. Wow. That's fancy. Meredith Mercer. Who's this dude? Oh yeah, so January 6th, I just realized the new year just passed. And this is the message that she sent to herself. Interview? Hey, it seems like my original message might have gotten lost in the shovel. Believe me, I know how it is, so I'm looking back around this. Any interest in speaking with me about the origins of parametric therapy and Eliza in particular? See below. Don't then Shino Aubrey, who was one of the principal developers of the Eliza system from Skanda. Is that you? Oh, that's some background there. You know, Belgian, please ignore. I'm something of a cultural commentator who's looking to write about the early origins of parametric therapy and where it's gone from there. Does it deliver on its promise? What do the people who work on it think of it now? On a more general level, has how has introducing increasing levels of automation into human life affected us? Hmm. Huh. There are some well-known names that seems to grab all the press and speaker slots when it comes to the subject, but I'm interested in speaking with people who might have a different perspective. Maybe a more skeptical or even subversive perspective. If you're willing to participate, just let me know and we can see something up in person and online. Whichever works best for you, it could be a great opportunity for you to get your side of the story out there. Be the chat. Huh. I'm I'm more interested with this part there. One of the principal developers of the Alliance system? Wait, what? What the hell? I mean, I don't know if it's true. And I don't think Evelyn's gonna reply to that. There's no reply option here, I believe. No. What the hell? That's actually really interesting. But either way, I wanna play more solitaire. Actually. I don't know what this will do. Like it's the same, huh? Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Getting that one off. Scandal wellness. Ah, right. Okay. Really should try this one. An interesting trick for sure. Not to get ahead of yourself. So like you have options literally whether to move the car to the other or etc or etc. This is the same car as that, right? So, like the trick of this Kapufu de Solita is that you really have to think all the way back from step one on the next one, and then in order to win the game, basically, I almost dropped my freaking hand sanitizer. Jesus. So energized there for a second. Okay. Uh, this card is just way back here, though. That's an issue. So, like, I don't want that yet. Yeah, 
that doesn't really help that there's no undo button here. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that guy's the same as this guy. That's dope. Okay. So I could either put this here, to here, or you could put there and put you here. I'm just kind of practicing uh, what I will do if I were only to have just one slot. That'll be the requirement to get to the expert, not uh, to win the expert mode. <laughs> That'll be crazy. Yeah, I really have to think on stuff. But then, if I were to place this here, oh, never mind. This is this is very very tricky. Apparently, this card is also not the same, huh? Look at that. They're not identical. That's what the heck. I thought they were identical to begin with. That's wait. I really don't know what's up there. What's this card and stuff? They're like the same, but. There's uh, some circular, circular symbols that I, I cannot decipher. Are they like the same card or...? I legit have no idea. Okay, so, uh, where was I? I got lost some turn sword there. Hmm. Yeah, I could literally put this card here eventually. Uh... Oh, wait a second. If I were to put this... Okay, I wouldn't do anything much. I don't have any similar card to this other than about it being here. And there. Wait. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so wait, wait, what was my plan again? Uh, oh yeah, right. There's this one card too here. Hmm... This is tricky as hell. Wait, 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 wait. These two cards feel the same though, on the other hand. That's intriguing. Except the other similar card, like this one's like in here and there. That's crazy. And the other similar cards to the other, the one being. Uh, Duck tip here and there and there as well. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh god. Wait a second. These are the same cards too, right? Should have been the same. Oh, you know what? I'll put you there. I uh, hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself, they say. Fascinating. I, I didn't know I could progress this far just to use that one slot so far. So the next thing I could do is to put this up here and then I don't know what to do next with this one because oh, actually never mind I could do something actually. Yeah right. Can put you up there. 
Oh, hold on a second. Oh, boy. This is indeed an interesting game. Wow. I'm actually really blown away how you can progress in this game. And like make poor decisions, for example. That's crazy. Funnily enough, I didn't know what to progress after this though, sadly. <laughs> I think I'm getting ahead of myself there. Oh, actually, there's a reason why uh, we could put there too, eventually. Huh. This is a really nice practice. Yeah. What a game, what a game. That's not the same card too. I'll have to just to make things a little bit fast and such. I'm, I'm actually screwing myself here on a second. Oh, yeah, I think I'm really screwing myself there. I did not think this through. I gotta put those two boats because uh, it's not complete yet. And these four cards are uh, just literally the different cards. <laughs> Not the same, despite the crystal there at the center. Oh man. Nice game. Yeah, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, maybe not entirely stuck, now that I see it. Because I could just put it there, this one there, and this one there. Bam. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Now to not screw ourselves. Now to not screw ourselves. Because I think I'm about to really screw myself. It's the same card. This is this two is the same card as that one there, and uh, where's the other one? Being blind, hold on a second. Uh, what the heck? Let's see, I'm officially being blind. I didn't see the other card. It's, it has to be full enough to make it complete. I may be missing something. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta put a card to move it to this uh, specific place so that I don't screw myself. I got this one, this two, or this one, or even this one even. But why will I want to do that? This guy just entirely being spoiled. It's been three there. I may not be seen that clear, <laughs> I'm afraid. I could at least free a space later. Oh man, I really don't know. I really don't know. There are two more cards there. That's a 
different card. I'm not gonna put anything other than that. It's also a different card, well maybe not an entirely different card. There's a space that I can use eventually, mm. but I still don't not, not entirely sure which one that I should use. I can put this one eventually, but then what that does that gain me? Oh, actually, I can put one of you. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm seeing myself. Truth. By putting this here. Okay. So either I want to put you there. Oh, yeah. I think I want to put this one instead. Oh, what's that? What's, what's this one again? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Apparently, if I were to put this here and... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, this is gonna be tricky, actually. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is gonna be extremely tricky. I could place either this one or just wait for this one. Oh, I could place that one there, too. Putting the most sporadic card in here, apparently. Now that I see if it. Uh... Hold on a second. Oh man. I at least actually need a space though. Let's uh, just do. What my guts tell me to. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I need that space, man. Let's fall to the. This is really fascinating game. This is already four, even. I could just literally put this here, and eventually I will move this one. Oh, there's a space there that I can use. What the hell? I don't understand. Oh! Huh. Apparently this being used grants me a space here. Not that I realize it. That's interesting. Huh. That, that makes it easier than I expected though. Of course you can make make this easier than expected duh. Nothing. Okay. Mm. Well, I mean, at least that's that, right? And then I can eventually put that one there, etc., etc. Or we can try to think about something. Yeah, that's it. We can just put this one here, and then put this one there after all, and then this is going to go there, so that it's going to make a free space. Just pick one. <laughs> very, very interesting game. I can literally put this anywhere I want to. But I don't want to get ahead of myself.
I think I'm already getting ahead of myself there. I shouldn't place this one there. This is actually a game. Oh no. This is really an amazing game. Oh, I can actually do that too. Hold on a second. <laughs> I can put this one anywhere over there. Right. Uh, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna place that one there. Oh, why should I... Uh, this is already a game, isn't it? It would be silly if I were to lose here, actually. But I don't think I will. Holy crap! That's raw as hell. I took that too long than I expected. This is gonna be hell. Hell of a hell. But it always works at some point eventually. But yeah. That's that big time. Holy moly. Alright. Cheers for watching. That's a whole episode 3, if not 4 for you. Actually, that's episode 3, I believe. So, yeah. Take care. Uh, we're going to see ourselves back into Eliza, I think, after this. Or just go back to home. Take care, everyone.